Hey everyone, welcome to the Guiding You Forward podcast presented by Mountain America Credit Union, where we talk about all things financial related. And we are so excited today to talk about technology. And thankfully we have Kelly Alveston with us. Hi Kelly. Hello. How's it going? Great, how are you? So good. Good, I, good. I mean, I'm so excited <laughs> to talk about tech with you today. Awesome. When we talk about technology and finances, I mean, I feel like all of these apps are making their way into my phone that are finance, financial tech apps that someone dreamt of last night and now suddenly I have to have it. Sure, there, there's a lot of them. And, and every, are there so many? Yeah, the, every week there's a, there's a few more, right? Uh, yes. So it becomes maybe hard to navigate at, at times. Um, and, and as an institution, you know, we, we believe we need to support those apps. You know, if, if ultimately, um, the information you have with us is your information, and, and we need, if you'd like to use that with a, a, an app, we've got to kind of help support that. It's, it's a term people use called open banking, where we, we want you to have access to your information. Uh, there, are, there are some apps that, that maybe aren't as secure as they should be, so we try okay. our best to help you navigate that where we can. Um, you also just need to be aware uh, of, of privacy and, and your information. Uh, you know, a lot of these apps, uh, you know, they, they make money on selling your information, uh, you know, what you do every day, what you spend, uh, that's valuable to a lot of third parties. And so uh, maybe just be mindful, look at the terms of service, maybe ask a question, hey, how does this company make money if I'm gonna give them kind of the keys to all my financial information? Does it make sense? Um, it, you know, do I trust them? Those are just like questions to ask. It's not that these these are bad or good, not that statement, just make sure you're making an informed decision on who's who you're getting information to about your finances. Okay, interesting. So is it safe then, from your standpoint, if, if you were to say Crystalina, and not that we wanna name specific apps, right? We don't wanna throw anyone under the bus, but is it okay for me to take, for example, my account information with Mountain America and put it into one of these apps that then I can you know, send money to friends or whatever it might be, help manage my money better you know, from the tip of my fingers? What are your thoughts? That's a good question. You know. Um, the safest thing for you to do is to just, you know, not do anything digitally and just hide in a hole, right? And then you'll you'll, you'll never expose anything. But that that, that also doesn't meet your needs, uh, you know, uh, your day to day needs. And so, you know, safety. That's our hard question to say: Is it safe? I think if you're giving that information to someone else or you're moving money through another provider, and you're getting value for that, just make sure you're aware of those risks and it and it makes sense to you. So, okay, it's it's, it's safe. Uh, it's as safe as it needs to be if if you find the value in that service. Okay. Okay, so I shouldn't just hide in a hole, even though that's the safest thing to do. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Things are there are it's relatively safe, um, but also you 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 should do some due diligence. You know, find out who these companies are. Um, you know, to just don't just look on a couple app app ratings and say it must be safe. Ask a couple questions. Uh, it doesn't take a ton of time to figure out how long this company's been around, what their terms of service are, uh, how they make money. Those are all indicators of like, hey, should I be safe with this company? So people actually read those terms of service. <laughs> they don't just scroll to the bottom and accept. Uh, it is rare, and I, and I admit I don't do that every time. Uh, but if it's a company I have never heard of, um, I have no um, you know connection with, then I'll probably read a little bit to say, hey, what's going on here? You know, because um, you are agreeing to a lot in those. And so, yeah, it's, you're right, and no one does that, but. Um, maybe situationally you, sh you should sometimes. Okay, interesting. But when it comes to our finances and tech, um, obviously we know as Americans, we suck at saving, <laughs> right? We're just not good at it, I, all of us. I'm not good at it, my husband's not good at it. We make the worst pair together. Um, how, how can I use tech to help me save more money? Well, I think it's interesting. We've we've continued to invest a lot of money to make spending easy. You know, there's a yes. lot of ways to spend, and it's on your watch, and your your, your card can tap. Uh, it's really easy to spend. I, I think you can use technology to try to make saving easier. You know, you, there's automation you can do to to set up automatic transfers to savings accounts. Um, there's also automation you can do to just be generally aware. I think one of the biggest drivers of people overspending is it kind of becomes you know uh, pretend money, and you spend, and you don't you're not aware of where your situation is, and so you can set up alerts. You know, to that reminder every time I, I use my card, I get a text message personally that tells me, hey, you just use your card. That's both helping me on security, because then if someone got my card, I would know pretty quickly if they're using it, but also it, it, there's some a savings benefit because I'm more aware that confirmation that, hey, Kelly, you just, you just spent some money on something. This is real money you're spending, even though it was a card that tapped somewhere. Um, it, it, you, can also, um, you can also use 
uh, a daily alert to let you know what your balance is. You know, of course I can log in every morning and see what my balance is, uh, but it's also nice to get an alert, you know, that every morning to, to remind me and to get pushed into my phone, this is how much money is in your account. So you can use uh, tech to, to automate savings and just to, to keep that awareness, keep bubbling it up in front of you. Hey, this is how you're spending, uh, Kristalina. Don't, don't forget about it and put it aside. So. I love that. And it, I'm assuming I can set up alerts for when my husband spends money. <laughs> you can do that. Um, and that, that can create some conflict. So, okay. so be careful. So be careful. Be we're careful. not going to make yeah. any, okay. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to make any that's, recommendations that's up that to way. You. That's up to you two to work out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But okay. I, I guess I didn't realize that every single time I make a transaction it does make it a lot more real. So I love that.